Welcome back folks to another video. This is the last and final video for today as we remember so many people, people's lives as we remember the 9-11 attacks. Since we've done our two VHS tapes, let us go into DVD disc with this one. This was originally supposed to be for last year's 9-11 anniversary celebration, well, memorial on the 20th, but due to YouTube termination, I wasn't able to do it. But now I get my second chance. World Trade Center was released on DVD in 2006 from Paramount Pictures and Paramount Home Entertainment. I see a little bit of this and this is actually a really powerful movie. Accordingly, it's a docu-dramatic disaster film that is based on the experience of a few police officers that were, that were in during the 9-11 attacks in which they were trapped in the rumble of the collapse of the World Trade Center. Stars many well-known stars, including Nicolas Cage. When it first came out, it got overwhelmingly res positive reviews it was from fans and critics. And for those who were 9-11 victim groups, heck, at the premiere, at the premiere in Manhattan, um, the NYPD and F FDIY were there. So it was Florida Mayor Rudy Giuliani, Governor George Pacatri, and Nicholas Cotopia, then Fire Commissioner, and all the representatives of the New York Port Authority. The DVD was printed on October 9th, 2006. So let's play the disc.
not understand one another's speech. I need to call my embassy. Where are you? Where are we? I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. The shooting of American tourists has sparked an international incident. It's all over the news. Everybody is paying attention. We're doing everything we can. I want to talk to the kids. I want to talk to them. This is an emergency. Cancel your son's wedding. Can anyone come to take care of the kids? L listen, this is urgent, okay? Where are you headed today? Mexico. Who are they? I'm in charge of them. Sir, I'm going to ask you to step out the vehicle. Why? Don't you will step out the vehicle. Why? Can I explain? Don't leave the vehicle. Don't leave the vehicle. Don't leave the vehicle. When I was 12, I closed my eyes and pictured what it would be like to be 30, and this is exactly what I saw. Great friends. I'm taking a little road trip. Where? South America. Beautiful girlfriend. I want to know what you're feeling. I'm feeling. Me? What I'm feeling. Wow. I should also mention that in that same fantasy, Hulk Hogan was my live-in bodyguard. <laughs> Jenna and I met three years ago. She's smart, she's beautiful, she makes me laugh. Dad, Dad, I can't hear you! I can't hear you! You absolutely have to become an adult and all that comes with it. This is the kind of woman you want to do it with. Right? What are you drinking? Have we met before? I'm Kim. Having a crisis, are we? I've been thinking about my life lately and everything feels pretty planned out. There are no more surprises. I feel like we should buy a house. That is so boring. I know. <laughs> Mom, we've been together since college. You really think you can start over? I'm still breathing. You want to make a home with me, right? Jenna's perfect. She's beautiful. What more could you ask for? Take a risk. Take a chance. That's what you used to tell me. Ah! No, 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 no. You're going to be wondering in 20 years, why didn't I do something exciting with my life? The world is moving so fast now that we start freaking out waiting for our parents to because we don't have to stop to feel anymore. ever measured, they've all occurred in the last 14 years, and the hottest of all was 2005. The scientific consensus is that we are causing global warming. I am Al Gore. I used to be the next president of the United States of America. This is Patagonia, 75 years ago, and the same glacier today. This is Mount Kilimanjaro, 30 years ago. And last year, within the decade, there will be no more snows of Kilimanjaro. 
This is really not a political issue so much as a moral issue. Temperature increases are taking place all over the world, and that's causing stronger storms. This is the biggest crisis in the history of this country. Early this morning, Hurricane Katrina slammed into New Orleans. Is it possible that we should prepare against other threats besides terrorists? From Paramount Classics comes a film that has shocked audiences everywhere they've seen it. The Arctic is experiencing faster melting. If this were to go, sea level worldwide would go up 20 feet. This is what would happen in Florida. Around Shanghai, home to 40 million people. The area around Calcutta, 60 million. Here's Manhattan. The World Trade Center Memorial would be underwater. Think of the impact of a couple hundred thousand refugees, and then imagine a hundred million. We have to act together to solve this global crisis. Our ability to live is what is at stake. Economy is the basic root cause for the war. Economic freedom for women means sexual freedom, and sexual freedom means birth control. How much is the government paying you to keep me quiet? All the power is in the hands of a few men. The dream may be dying. Unless we are willing to take arms to defend our heritage, we cannot call ourselves patriotic Americans. folks that wraps up the 2006 dvd opening to world trade center if you enjoy subscribe ring that notification bell follow me on reddit twitter and instagram and i'll see you in my next video